The other day I had the luxury of sitting down with Andrew Ponsler. He is a coach and founder of West Indy Barbell. He has trained anyone from youth athletes all the way to Olympic level athletes and really has got this down to a science. In all honesty, he is the best strength and performance coach when it comes to athletic training that I have ever met. And he has developed a three phase system on how to improve any athlete and take them to the next level. So without further ado, let's hear what those are. And I'm gonna go over something a little bit different. So a very simple overview. We all know why athletes should lift. Um, it's one of the most important parts of athletics is lifting. Um, if you don't believe that athletes should lift, there's a solid chance you're not listening to this anyways. Um, so I'm gonna go over a little bit different. Um, a lifting athlete is a healthier one that can perform on the field for much longer. And I'm going to go over basically not just three reasons of why they should lift, but of different what I call phases of lifting. And my first phase is just base of strength. This is for any athlete, anybody that's getting into lifting, you need what's called a base of strength. And strength is the one, most important parts of playing sports. We first start with an athlete on base of strength, no matter where they're at, even if they're an Olympian, if they don't have a base of strength, that is something that we formulate first. And the biggest purpose of this phase is to assess the athlete's strengths and weaknesses and to build off of those. So what are they good at? What are they not good at? How do I fix them? And what do I leave alone, basically? Um, this will set the athlete up for the rest of their lifting and playing career. Uh, even if you're done playing, your base of strength will help you in the gym after you're done, play, uh, done playing. And um, this phase, in my opinion, should only be done uh, with the assistance of, of a professional in sports performance or lifting. Uh, this gives us proper technique, programming, and overall weight room etiquette to set you up as a lifetime athlete, whether that is physically on the field or after you're done playing. So step one, base of strength, what are they good at? What are they not? And how do I progress them from there? Um, step two, I call it joint stability. It is one of the most common missed areas in sports performance and training that I've seen over the past 10 years. A lot of programs are straight muscular banks. So deep squatting, three sets of five, five sets of 10, just old school traditional lifting, uh, linear periodization across the board. Um, you will get, that is a base of strength that will get most people stronger, but what you're lacking in my opinion, and that I've seen over the years is what's called joint stability, doing things such as partial range of motions, doing heavy sets. Um, and I'll talk about maximal effort work in the last part, but changing up the variations of training um, to make sure that the joint, not only the muscle, but the joint as well is as stiff as possible. Um, if you do not have this and you're just muscular strength, this can really limit you as an athlete for overall performance by creating a weakness in the system. And basically what that is, is a weak, a weak chain in the link is what we'll call it, or a weak link in the chain is what we'll call it. Um, this is where almost all of your injuries happen on the field. And this is the most important part of the phase to not skip. Uh, make sure you're focusing on joint strength along with muscular strength to create a full athlete. Um, and a lot of times we'll see that on the field is an athlete will be really, really strong, but if their joints can't handle the strength, that's when we see those big ACL tears, um, big muscular tears, uh, career ending injuries, neck injuries, um, just stuff that we will take an athlete completely out of the sport. Um, and not only that, if you're injured all the time too, you're not going to want to play. So, um, Base of strength, good. We now need stability work. And then the last one in, in phase three is what I call maximal effort or appropriate reception. Uh, we'll keep it simple and just call it max effort. And this is kind of that last phase of once you have the body completely under control and it is comfortable moving in different ranges and planes of motion, you can now max effort it. Um, and I think the most important part of athlete training is maximal effort. Maximal effort should only be applied after phases one and two have been assessed by a professional and kind of given the check off and the okay. Um, maximal effort is the highest of intensity and weight. So people think maximal effort, they think heavy. That's not always the case. 
it could be max effort speed. It could be max effort uh, drills. It could be uh, max effort conditioning. Um, there's all sorts of different maximal effort, efforts, but if you don't go into the max effort phase of training, then you are separating the good from the great and the great love that because all the good will stay kind of where they're at. They'll stay good forever. Um, it is the one phase, the last phase that great athletes have that really apply to the, to the track or apply to any sport really. So when I talk about max effort, I don't just mean in lifting, but also in drills and different things you do. Um, if you can't repeat it hundred percent in the weight room, then you're probably not going to do it on the field quickly, fast, that fast turnover, the, uh, that quick twitch is what everyone calls. And that's where max effort or appropriate reception really has its biggest benefit. Um, I hope that wasn't overcomplicated. I call it the three phases. That's uh, what I use for every athlete. Uh, get them strong, make sure they're healthy, destroy with effort. <laughs> and you'll have a really good athlete. I don't care if you're uh, not genetically designed to be the best, you can make some really solid athletes with these three systems, basically. Okay, there you have it. Those were the three phases Andrew takes all of his athletes through. And like I said, this man has trained anyone from Olympic level athletes to youth sports to NFL players and has got all of them amazing results. So if you're interested in taking your game to the next level, go ahead and click the link below to check out West Indy and contact Andrew yourself or try implementing those three phases that he talked about and work on improving your skill set and making sure you're doing it in a safe manner. If you enjoyed this, leave a comment below and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until next time, stay dedicated.